Hello everyone, Best Hotels Experts here again. Today we will look at one of the most popular resorts in Cuba. About a two-hour drive from Havana, Varadero is home to bars, restaurants, and clubs. Incredible miles-long white sand beach attracts tourists from all over the world. We have selected 10 hotels with the best ratings from visitors. So let's get started and don't forget to subscribe. Number 10, Hotel Rock Barlovento. The mid-range 293-room Hotel Rock Barlovento is the most affordable adult-only option in Veradero. It's the first resort along the Veradero Peninsula, located at the beginning of the downtown area. This means guests can walk to shops and restaurants, but the resort's footprint is smaller and the beach less secluded. Basic, dated rooms lack ocean views, but they're fine for the price. All in all, it's a good value. The rooms at Hotel Rock Barlovento are nothing to say home about, but they're adequate for the price. All come with small balconies with one folded up lounge chair and face the pool or the grounds. There are flat screen TVs with 25 channels, including options in English, Spanish, French, and Chinese. There are no coffee makers or music players, and use of the safe requires a small fee. The mini fridge is empty, but a bottle of water is provided daily. Some key benefits an activity pool, a shallow relaxed pool, and a quiet pool. Buffet with good selection plus three a la carte restaurants. 24-hour lobby bar. Clean rooms with free bottle of water provided. Small modern gym plus massage service available. Wi-Fi available in the lobby. Some major disadvantages. No rooms with ocean views. Most rooms have two single beds, downside for couples. Small, narrow balconies with only one chair. Lots of stray cats and dogs around. A la carte restaurants only open certain days. No elevator. No swim-up bar. Smoking common by pool and on beach. Number 9. Melia Las Antillas. This 350-room, mid-range Melia Las Antillas is one of only a handful of resorts in the area for adults only. Its beach is beautiful, and 69 of the rooms have ocean views. The property is dated, but the pool and theater received renovations in late 2015. It's a step above the Rock Bar Lovento located downtown, which has more basic rooms and no ocean views. But unlike most Veradero resorts, there's no Wi-Fi in the lobby, just internet on two PCs. The rooms at the Melia Las Antillas have simple decor in shades of blue and white set against light yellow walls, reflecting the beach location. They are spacious, much larger than those at the Hotel Rock Bar Lovento. About half have king-size beds, and half have two twins. There's a separate living room area in front of the bed that's sunken in some rooms. Many bars are stocked daily with water, soft drinks and beer, and all rooms have balconies with views of the ocean, pool, or grounds. Some key benefits. Excellent stretch of beach with white sand and turquoise water. Big pool with volleyball net, hot tub, and adjacent snack bar. Buffet with AC and three a la carte restaurants. Clean rooms, all with free mini bars and balconies, some with ocean views. 24-hour lobby bar, pool bar, beach bar, and disco. Concierge rooms with preferred bookings at a la carte restaurants. Air-conditioned gym, two saunas, and massage room. Some major disadvantages. No Wi-Fi. Dated decor throughout. No swim-up bar. Number 8. Paradise's Princesa Del Mar Resort and Spa. It's a true luxury property in Cuba. While that's hardly difficult to find in other Caribbean destinations, in Cuba they're in short supply. The resort itself is split into two camps, one offering a standard level of service and accommodations, and another wing offering royal service, with more luxe accommodations, a private pool, separate dining options, and an exclusive check-in. White columns frame the back staircase that descends into the main pool, the heart of the resort. This undulating body of water is crisscrossed with footbridges and surrounded with loungers and hammocks for lounging. From here winding paths break off to a small town square style patio with a clock tower and a central three-tier fountain surrounded by restaurants. The paths also snake around the green, landscaped grounds toward the rooms, lemon yellow or coral colored buildings with colonial arches. Amenities include air conditioning, safes, beach towels and beach bags, umbrellas, bottled water, coffee makers with coffee slash tea supplies, irons and ironing boards, bathrobes, and mini bars with free drinks and snacks, premium beverages cost an additional fee. At the time of our visit, Wi-Fi was not available in rooms, 
but routers were being installed with the plans of adding Wi-Fi shortly. Some key benefits. Resort offering luxury service and atmosphere. Beachfront location with beautiful sandy beach. Sophisticated rooms, all with terraces or balconies and free minibars. Some rooms offer butler service, jetted tubs, and direct pool access. Three pools, two with swim-up bars, and plenty of loungers. Seven restaurants serving a range of cuisines with matching decor. Several bars, including a cigar bar. Wi-Fi in public spaces. Some major disadvantages. No kids under 18 allowed. Food can be underwhelming. Wi-Fi only free for royal service guests. Some rooms are smoking. Little in walking distance. Number 7. Melia Varadero. Melia Varadero, unforgettable experiences by the sea. Five-star all-inclusive resort, located right on the beach, very close to the Varadero Golf Club and next to the Plaza America Convention Center. Its architecture resembles a flower with seven petals, topped by a dome covering an original lobby adorned with plants and flowers. Renowned for its spaces with personalized service, exclusivity and privacy on the level floor, its mini club with a daily program for children and packages designed for families, as well as its special features for staging events, conferences, and incentive trips. There are seven different types of modern and unique rooms, including the premium rooms and suites, with spacious staggered terraces, spectacular views of the sea and the Veradero Peninsula, as well as the Sea View Grand Suite The Level Room, renowned for its exceptional location, spaciousness, comfort and design. Recommended for incentive trips, weddings, honeymoons, remote working experiences and golfers on holiday with their family. Some key benefits. Beautiful beachfront location in Veradero. Two pools, kiddie pool, and plenty of loungers. Rooms include flat-screen TVs, minibars, and kettles. Some rooms have excellent ocean views. Five restaurants serving a range of cuisine. Kids club, babysitting, and cribs available. Fitness center and beauty salon. Wi-Fi in public spaces and rooms. Some major disadvantages. Standard rooms are dated compared to executive ones. Some bathrooms are small and dated. Little in walking distance. Number 6. Valentin El Patriarca Varadero. This is one of the top resorts in Varadero, and its decor is the most modern we saw. It probably helps that this is one of the newest resorts in Varadero, it opened in 2012, and since then has already undergone some renovations, indicative of the level of care and maintenance the management puts into it. The result is a property that is truly stylish and upscaled not just by Cuban standards. Unlike at most resorts in Veradero, rooms at El Patriarca are actually a high point. They're modern and stylish, bathrooms that have separate showers and tubs even in the standard category. Flat-screen TVs have 27 channels including CNN and ESPN in English. About half have two single beds and half have king-size beds. An extra bed can be added. Some key benefits. Beautiful white sand beach with lots of loungers and palapas. Modern, stylish rooms with separate showers and tubs. Big freeform pool with swim-up bar, kiddie pool. Excellent coffee bar and swanky piano bar. 24-hour a la carte pool restaurant. A la carte beach restaurant with ocean views. Clean, air-conditioned, modern buffet with meat, fish, and pasta areas. Kids club for ages 4 to 11 with playground. Some major disadvantages. No rooms or pools with ocean views. Wristbands required. Lobby bar not 24-hour. Mosquitoes can be a nuisance. Some complaints of towels not being changed frequently enough. There can be long lines for a la carte restaurants. Number 5. Melia Las Americas. The 340-room, adult-only Melia Las Americas is a slightly more mature take on the typical upper-middle range beach resort in Veradero. In addition to its freeform pools and postcard-worthy beach, it offers a location by a tournament-level golf course and an attractive gym with floor-to-ceiling windows. Rooms aren't fashion-forward, but they are exceptionally pleasant for a Cuban resort, and most have balconies and ocean views. Five restaurants and six bars provide a wide range of food and drink, and a full theater and a beauty salon give other diversions. Some key benefits. Adult-only beachfront resort with a focus on golf. White sand beach with loungers and umbrellas. Four pools including hot tubs and a waterfall feature. Pleasant rooms with AC, flat-screen TVs, and minibars. Most rooms have balconies and ocean views. Five restaurants with international cuisine. Six bars, including poolside and a 24-hour bar. Some major disadvantages. Not all rooms have balconies. No children under 18. 
smoking allowed in some rooms. Number 4. Hotel Rock Arenas Doradas. The 316-room Hotel Rock Arenas Doradas is a mid-range family-friendly option in Veradero. The highlights here are the absolutely jaw-dropping stretch of White Sand Beach, the lively entertainment, and the free bus to downtown Veradero. Guests will also find a large pool with swim-up bar and hot tub, a 24-hour lobby bar, a buffet, and three a la carte options. Basic rooms have hard beds and none have ocean views, but they're clean and there are more TV channels than at competing properties. All in all, it's a good value. Some key benefits. Big pool with swim-up bar, hot tub, snack bar, and ice cream counter. All-inclusive buffet and three a la carte restaurants. 24-hour lobby bar and shops. Wi-Fi available in lobby area. Animation team leading activities at pool. Supervised kids club for ages 4 to 12. Nightly entertainment and disco. Clean rooms, all with outdoor space. Some major disadvantages. No rooms with ocean views. Some guests find the beds too hard. Bracelets required. Fee for lost towel cards. Basic rooms, some with tube TVs. Number 3. Sol Palmeras. The all-inclusive Sol Palmeras is a family-oriented three-pearl resort that's hardly high style, but it is boisterous and big on activities, especially the kid-friendly variety. Free water sport rentals, a game room with Wii and PlayStation 2, and a shooting range join the typical diversions of sun and sand, including Veradero's notably beautiful beach and two pools. The 408 rooms and 200 bungalows are excellent for families, with multiple bedrooms, mini kitchens, dining spaces, and interconnecting rooms available. Some couples do come to stay in the bungalow suite romance units, but given the atmosphere here, those travelers might prefer the adults-only Melia Las Antillas that we mentioned on 9 Place. Some key benefits. Massive beachfront resort catering to families. Beautiful white sand beach with loungers and umbrellas. Pools, whirlpools, and kiddie pool with poolside ice cream kiosk. Range of rooms and bungalows with balconies or terraces. Seven bars and six restaurants serving a range of cuisine. Mini golf, ping pong, tennis courts, and a shooting range. Free water sports equipment plus PlayStation 2 and Wii games. Gym opened in 2015, with modern equipment and fruit-infused water. Wi-Fi in the lobby. Some major disadvantages. Maintenance issues ongoing. Old-fashioned, somewhat dated decor. Romantic atmosphere can be overrun by boisterous families. Romantic bungalow showers share a footprint with toilets. Number 2. Memories Veradero Beach Resort. Pamper yourself on the pristine white sand beaches of Veradero with a stay at the luxury Memories Veradero Beach Resort. The resort offers incredible value and impressive all-inclusive features and is the perfect destination for a romantic getaway or a fun family vacation. Guests will be dazzled by the elegant rooms and suites that feature rich wood furnishings, luxurious amenities, and stunning decor. Relish a culinary trip around the world at the buffet restaurant and several a la carte restaurants, which offer sumptuous global cuisine, including Italian, Japanese, Mexican, and more. Spend your days basking under a golden sun on one of Veradero's most beautiful beaches, or revel in an array of fun land and water sports and activities. Children will also have the time of their lives at the kids' club and baby club with supervised games and activities. Memories Veradero Beach Resort ensures fun for all ages and helps create unforgettable vacation memories for the whole family. Some Key Benefits Beautiful white sand beach. Activity pool with a water slide and grotto swim up bar. Beautiful well maintained grounds. Great baby club and kids club. Crowd pleasing options at the buffet. Lots of activities, from dancing lessons to aqua aerobics. Special events such as Cuban Day, Pirate Day, and a foam party. Free scuba lesson and use of non motorized water sports. Coffee tasting menu with beans from other countries. Some major disadvantages. Sprawling layout means lots of walking or waiting for buggies. Many areas dated and worn. Difficult to get fresh beach towels and room towels not changed often. No AC in main buffet. Public restrooms sometimes lack toilet paper and soap. Buffet a bit small for size of the resort. No rooms with direct ocean views. And finally, number one, Royalton Hikako's Veradero Resort and Spa. This 404-room luxury all-inclusive resort is easily one of the best in Veradero, and arguably the best adult-only option. There's a true emphasis on personalized service, there are ample activities ranging from yoga to the weekly foam party, the beach is perhaps the biggest and best stretch in Veradero, 
and just about everything is covered by the all-inclusive package, from buckler service, to top-shelf liquor, to access to the spa facilities, to lobster at the seafood a la carte restaurant. All but three of the 404 rooms are junior suites. These have separate living areas and sunken bedroom areas, almost all with true king-size beds. This is rare for the area and a selling point for romantic couples. There are 25 rooms with two twin beds available, and all rooms fit only two guests, only the presidential suite can fit four. There are adjoining rooms with a shared entryway that can be requested, but no connecting rooms. Some key benefits. One of the top luxury resorts in Veradero. On one of the largest and widest stretches of beach in Veradero. All-inclusive package includes top-shelf liquor. For a la carte restaurants. Butler service for every guest. Poolside and beachside drink service. Extensive buffet with seafood, meat, and pasta sections. Free access to sauna and steam room at spa. Big main pool with swim-up bar and two hot tubs. Some major disadvantages. No rooms with ocean views. Mosquitoes can be a nuisance. Rooms not up to international luxury standards. Layout can feel a bit maze-like at first. No elevator to rooms, but accessible rooms on ground floor. We hope our list of resorts has helped you in choosing your next vacation. Feel free to share your opinion in the comments. See you in the next videos.